is these bees. If you notice, it's been a while since we've uh, had any, any videos out. Uh, end of July, or end of January of, of this year, I had a complete uh, knee replacement. So it's put me out of, out of whack. Although it's only been three weeks from today, but, and I'm doing pretty, pretty good actually considering all things. Uh, and and while, while I'm talking about that knee replacement, I want to thank several people uh, who may or may not watch this. But uh, first of all is the surgeon, Dr. Kunapuli at uh, Advanced uh, Orthopedics of Oklahoma uh, from, from uh, Community Health. I want to take, thank uh, Melissa, who was my therapist, who was great. Uh, Lisa, who was one of the nurses that came out, and Bailey, who was another nurse that came out. And uh, also really, really want to thank uh, Dr. Michael Peterson and Tiffany from, from uh, Peterson Chiropractic. Uh, who I'm, I can almost guarantee you I would not be able to do as, doing as well as I have. We hadn't done a lot of pre-work with Dr. Peterson, and I really do appreciate him, love him. He's a, he's a great guy. So what we're going to do today, uh, this is going to be winter feeding as the, as the title goes, but it's part two. Uh, back earlier, back in probably in December, I guess it was, we put the initial fondant packs on, and I've been checking them off and on to see how, how well they were doing because it, uh, at some point, uh, they're going to uh, need to be replaced and I've checked them this morning and our two flow hives both need to be replaced and then we'll look at the horizontal hive and then we'll also figure out uh, to, uh, un figure out how we're going to deal with with what little fun that's remaining in those packages we're going to give it to the nukes this is kind of a story today by the way is Valentine's Day and I want to give an ultra special thanks to my wife who has been a nurse and who's been my partner getting through this and I, I love her so very much she is a videographer right now, so she's shaking her head at me that wishing I wouldn't do this. But, but I love her, and I want her to know how much, and I want you all to know how much. So here we go. Okay, we'll start at the kitchen hive. Uh, I'm going to let you see how how much they've they've taken of this. There's there's still quite a bit left on the sides, and I'm, go, I'm just going to take this and move it over to the to the nuke so we can have some as well. I'm going to take this out, and I brought some scissors over here, so we're going to cut this open and then let these bees get out. In fact, I'm, first thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to go ahead and put the new fondant pack in, give them a little bit of smoke, so they'll go back down inside. Yeah, there they go. They go back down inside. And I've cut the hole in on the on the full side and put this fondant right down uh, on top of that that hole. And uh, then they'll come up there and, and, and eat. So next thing we'll do is we're gonna just put this one back together. I use this as kind of a staging table for uh, for the for the bunk, for the bees here. So we want these girls to get out and get back home. And I normally might not have used the the uh, jacket and veil doing this, but because of the knee surgery, I'm moving pretty slow. So I want to make sure that uh, that I. I'm able to get rid of this, get, get all this stuff done without, uh, without getting stung a few times. So what we'll do is we'll peel this all the way back. Hey girls, it's, uh, say it's Valentine's Day today and it's about 70 degrees, which is amazing for Valentine's Day in Northeastern Oklahoma. Okay, so that's quite a bit of fun that left, but again, we're going to put that in the in the nuke because I'm not sure how much they've got. Spring in Oklahoma is windy. It's windy most all the time in Oklahoma. So we got to want to make sure that we I get this thing. Oops. Make sure we get it all buttoned down to the wind. Pretty simple, not a lot to it, so 
we'll go to the kitchen hive, or corner hive next. This is here. Uh, take this off, and you can see uh, there's not as quite as much activity up here as there was in the other hive. But uh, uh, it's this one gets early sun and then then goes pretty much cool. So got the phone. So again, we're gonna get them to go back down if they will. I have to lift them up, I guess. Okay, so again, we'll take the little hole out that we cut. Then I'm gonna just take these bees out one at a time. And then, can you hand me that double bubble? So we got the double bubble on here and then the top back on. Whoops. And again, you know, most of the time when, when, uh, when, I'm, when I'm saying stuff and telling you what I'm doing, doesn't necessarily mean that's what you want to do. You may, you may not need to feed. Uh, you may need to feed. It's going to be entirely up to, up to your circumstances. I'm just telling you what I do and why I do it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'll let these bees escape. Yeah, they're not real happy with me, but I don't blame them. And so we'll just shake them off there. Come on, sweetheart. now we're done for here we'll go to the, the horizontal hive the horizontal hive I told, as i mentioned earlier it doesn't need any but i'm just going to show you what it looks like you can see they're taking quite a bit of it but there's still a whole bunch probably half a third to a half of it left so we'll just bundle them back up and let them continue on now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the nuke let me get over here Uh, if, if you watched the earlier video, you'll know we mentioned that there's just not much room up in the top of these things to put the fondant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape out what's left out of the two that I've previously pulled and then just lay them at the top of here. Well, plus they've actually gotten in here and, and, taken, and taken a lot of it, so that's good. I don't want it to dry out, but there's really not much chance of a choice of in the matter here. It's going to dry out. But they seem to have taken that other, which also had dried out. And if, if you remember the way these uh, Apamay nukes work, is the setting that we're using here allows the bees to crawl out and get out in here and uh, do the, you know, eat the fondant up in here or whatever we're feeding them, in this case it's fondant, and then uh, go back down in the hive. So again, we've got the same thing happen here. We've got uh, the bees have, have come up in top and, and cleaned all that out, which is good. This is not the best way to do it for these nukes, but honestly, I don't know the best way. If anybody's got a thought process on how best to do it, uh, let me know and I'm open to suggestions on it. And this, both of these feeders, just, there's just one hive, so both of these feeders at this point uh, are feeding the, 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 uh, the, one, the one hive. It's just they're split where you can split them if you want to. from the kitchen hive there just wasn't much there 
less, which is good. It means they've taken it. Kitchen house ladies took it, and then now we're going to give what's left uh, back to to these. Top on it, but as I was getting ready to say, you can see uh, at this point we have uh, bees. You know, we didn't lose any hives over the winter. Now, uh, this is this is a warning. Uh, and again, based upon what I know and what I do, it's not saying it's gospel, but it's it's a warning. If uh, if you look right now and your bees are, are alive, you think, man, I made it through the winter. Well, in reality, for bees, winter is not over until they start foraging. So if they were to be close to being out of food right now and we didn't offer them the fondant, they could starve before the nectar starts flowing. So, uh, you know, make sure you continue to feed your bees and it's getting warm enough, we actually could probably do some liquid feed. But at this point, we don't know the weather's going to be. The next week, it's going to be really warm. Uh, we could have cold. You just don't know. So fondant is something that, that will work regardless of the temperature. And so that's why I recommend using it uh, this time of year. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, please please let me know. Again, I want to thank you for, for, uh, for watching these videos. Uh, we're real close to 1,000 uh thousand subscribers if if uh, if you're watching and haven't subscribed please subscribe get us over a thousand if you would we really appreciate that uh it doesn't cost you anything all you have to have do is sign up for a free youtube account if you don't already have one and uh, that way you can post comments or whatever as well as you can subscribe so anyway i'm tired <laughs> so i'm gonna go sit down uh, thanks for watching really appreciate you y'all come back mm -hmm.